Good morning, good evening, good evening, good evening, folks. This is Zeu Dracul, and welcome back. Today, we'll be talk covering another Pokemon and doing another giveaway at the very end where you can win one of these four sets for Sylveon, the Pokemon we are covering today on our Pokemon Breakdown series. I have, like I said, like I've already said, we have four potential Sylveon builds that really cover a wide variety of different types of builds. And you can also see there's also a Furfru sitting up there. I'll cover that last. I'll cover that set last because Furfru does play a big role in that last build. So let's start with this first set. This first set is going to be a straight up special attack. Kind of sweeper-ish. Um, you're going to want to send it out against something that does a lot that does special attack damage especially if like that's all they have left are special attackers because of the massive special defense that sylveon gets i mean it's 130 base which is awesome so what we're going to be running on this one for moves we're going to be running protect draining kiss calm mind and hyper beam this is going to give sylveon a little bit of extra sustain and Hyper Beam, it's gonna take you out of the game for one turn, but it, it's basically going to completely obliterate pretty much anything you hit it with as long as it's not a Steel type or a Poison type. You're, you're fairly set. You're gonna to wanna to get off at least one Calm Mine. This is going to give you 1.5 times boost to your uh, special attack, which is going to be devastating when it comes to Hyper Beaming them because of your Pixelite, which is going to make give you stab and 1.3 times on their on the power on top of what Hyper Beam already has, because Hyper Beam now becomes a fairy move, giving it stab because Sylveon's a fairy, and Pixelite gives an extra boost on top of that. So with the one combined Pixelite and stab, that Hyper Beam is going to just completely wipe everything out. There are a few things that can still survive it at max HP, and I would recommend, I would recommend if you can to pull off an extra calm mind or two with two calm minds you're pretty much guaranteed to one shot pretty much everything in the game as long as you can survive and as long as you're in on a special special attacker you're gonna survive there's gonna be no questions you're surviving and then if anything ever happens you can always draining kiss and get some health back because you're gonna have extra damage off of your calm mind and you're going to have also stab on this as well for the item, you can run a couple of different things. You can either run the leftovers, which is always nice. It's going to give you an extra health over time. Or my personal favorite, the citrus berry, which is going to be, you're going to see a lot on, Sil I'm going to run that a lot on Sylveon, just because it gives Sylveon quite a bit of health back. It gives anything quite a bit of health back, but I, I like to run it on Sylveon in general. But leftovers or citrus berry go great with this set. On to the next build. We're going to have another sort of Calm Mind build, but this one is going to be more of a special defense wall. Because of the massive special defense that Sylveon gets, it's gonna have 152 or 252 EVs in your special defense, which is gonna give you up to 394 special defense. Stack that with Calm Minds and you know, you're, you're pretty much set. For the sustain for this one, also, I have 248 in HP. That way we can put a little bit more into a special attack. You can put a 252 in HP as well. I Actually, you should probably shift. I think that'll make it even, won't it? Yeah, that'll make an even number. So yeah, go ahead and put 252 in HP. That way you end up with an even number. With the attack, we're going to Calm Mind, Wish, Hyper Beam, and Hyper Voice. This way you can have massive damage output with Hyper Beam, or you can have a decent damage output with Hyper Voice. You're gonna have Calm Mind to boost that special defense, boost your special attack. You're gonna be lacking in special attack in this build, but that's fine. You're gonna make up for that with your Calm Mind. And then for sustain, we're gonna have a much larger sustain with Wish. Wish is going to give you back 50% of your HP in the next turn. 
So if you if, if you're starting to like fear like you're gonna get start getting low, you can go ahead and wish a turn or you you don't want to wish a turn early. That way, when your health does get within range that you'd want to heal, you're healing back. And we're also gonna run that citrus berry just in case that just in case your health drops below, um, and you in like you you set the wish off and your health drops down. That way you get that little bit of health that the health back you get hit back to right about 50 percent, and then that wish is gonna max heal you on the next turn. Or on the current turn, depending on how, how it played out. So you're basically going to get a max heal out of that, that Citrus Berry, as long as you're replaying your wishes right. You could always replace Hyper Beam with um, Draining Kiss. Uh, that way you have a little bit extra sustain that doesn't take too, that doesn't take a whole turn to activate. So you can throw off a wish, and then if your health starts getting a little, like if you're feeling like it's in danger, you can throw off a Draining Kiss, get a little bit of extra health back to, to top off from that wish. But that's really up to you on how you want to play that. I like running Hyper Beam. Yes, it does take you out of the out of the game for a whole turn. But if you throw off a Wish, throw off a Hyper Beam, then at the end of that turn, you're getting 50% of your health back. And then on the next turn, you should be able to survive. Should be able to survive. Uh, here, you can also run Leftovers if you want to have a consecutive cons sustain. That if you feel like Sylveon's going to be in the game for a very long time, um, that's where that's where the difference comes in. If if you're gonna have to um, sit so out on the field for a short amount of time, hi car, <laughs> for a shorter amount of time, you're going to want to run Citrus Berry because it's gonna give you one heal and that's it. If you if you're gonna have a long running Sylveon on the field, you're gonna want to run the leftovers. And it's just how you plan on playing Sylveon with these builds because these builds are really versatile and that's what I like about them. And you can like I said, you can also uh, trade out Hyper Beam. Or Hyper Voice for Draining Kiss. I would recommend if you're going to change either one of them to change Hyper Beam, because of the fact that Hyper Beam does take you out of the game for one turn, even though it can it can do massive damage if you do get one off, especially if you're up to times four on your calm minds, you would completely devastate whatever you're hitting. With our next build, we're going to be looking at a more doubles oriented build you could run this in singles but it, it's really situational in singles in doubles depending on the team you run this team it works wonders this is the sylveon that i personally run in my doubles team um just like heat more i run in my doubles team as well we're going to be looking at hyper voice hyper beam psych up and calm mind now this does seem like a really odd setup for Sylveon because you're, you're having your self buff and a psych up buff. But we'll cover that in a second. For our stats, we are going to be looking at, we're maxing out that HP, sort of, we're going 248. That way we can put a little bit extra in special defense, that way we have more effective HP um, from special defense. We're looking at 252 in uh, attack and, and we're looking at eight in that special defense and we're going with a modest nature just to give that extra special defense boost because how Psyka, how we're going to be using Psyka is going to make Sylveon a semi-perfect wall. We're going to cover what I mean by that in about 45 seconds when I cover the next build. So what we're going to be doing is you're going to have another Pokemon on the team that has like cosmic power or something like that. Like I run Lopunny and you're going to be trying to get behind screens because you know, screens are going to give you that extra time to build into your Sylveon and build into that Lopunny or whoever else, like it's Clefable or whoever that you have that's running Cosmic Power. And then you're going to, during that time, you're going to be hyper voicing, so you're going to be chipping away at their health with some damage while your whomever you're getting your buffs from is buffing. You then you psych up off of them. And then you have a ton of defense. Or you could also run a Nasty Plot Pokemon, psych up off that Nasty Plot, and then diss out. Crazy Hyper Voice damage. Or my favorite, um, and how one of the ways, another one of the ways that this works into my team is that I run Gothitelle with Charge Beam. So I'll be Charge Beaming with Gothitelle. I'll, I'll throw out some Toxic, throw out some Charge Beams, get some um, buffs going from the Charge Beam while I'm Hyper Voicing with Sylveon. And then, so now that Gothitelle is like times two or times three on its, um, from its charge beam, I can psych up off of that Gothitelle and I can blast them with some more hyper voice. 
which overall that just completely decimates teams. People tend to go and go for Gothitel because of the shadow tag it has, and they want you know to be, and especially seeing that they're toxic, they're gonna want to switch out. So they're gonna try and take out Gothitel first, for the most part. Sometimes they'll go after the Sylveon, but usually they're gonna go after the shadow tag Gothitel because of the fact that I'm gonna throw Toxic at them and they're gonna to want to get that Pokemon out of there because the Toxic is doing more damage than they want to deal with. So they're gonna to want to get rid of Gothitel, which really gives Sylveon time to set up and Sylveon time to become just this absolute sweeper with its hyper voice. And again, we're running Citrus Berry and Pixelite just because, like I said, you can run leftovers, but like I said, I like to run uh, Citrus Berry because of the fact that you get that one big burst heal when it's really needed. Um, leftovers, you can run leftovers if you really want the overtime healing, if you feel like Sylveon's going to be on the field for a really long time. I do a lot of Switch gameplay uh, and switching Pokemon out in general, so leftovers. I don't leave anything on the field long enough to have it set up for leftovers, unless I get, you know, I have it like times four defense, times four special defense, times four special attack, then Sylveon's not leaving the field until it dies. Just, I mean, <laughs> it's just how it goes. We're looking at the next one, which this is our perfect tank setup. And this one is gonna, is gonna have the partner of Furfru. You could also run it with a partner of um, Lopunny again just for the defense and special defense boost on the La Punny. But you don't you miss out on one key element that makes this the perfect tank for Sylveon. Because Sylveon's already a massive special defense tank when you have everything when you have it special defense ever or when you have everything in special defense, it does massive has massive, massive special defense. But with this build you're gonna have massive everything. This is going to decimate pretty much everything there is because of the fact it's never going away. They're not getting rid of this unless they toxic it in some way and then you're but you're gonna want to run uh, because of this I run a usually run a Togetic with Eviolite and Heal Bell or some Heal Bell Pokemon that way I can get rid of toxic if need be. So what we're looking at is we're looking at Psych Up, Hyper Voice, Skill Swap, and Draining Kiss. Now this Skill Swap, that does sound weird because you're getting rid of its ability, but we're running Cute Charm on this one because Pixelite isn't really going to help out Furfru because you're still swapping the Fur Coat off of Furfru onto Sylveon, which is going to make Sylveon's defense absolutely insane. And we're also running Psych Up because we're going to get some stats off of Furfru as well. So for our stats, we're looking at 248 in special defense, 248 in defense, and 12 in special attack. That way you get that little bit of extra special attack. It's, I mean, you're not getting a huge special attack bonus out of that, but you do get quite a bit. You're looking at 250 if with your max defense, 200 or 358 in your in your special defense, and then this is all at level um, it's level 100, right? Yeah, it's level 100. And you're running the skill swap. So you're skill swapping that fur 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 coat off of fur fru, which is going to double a Pokemon's defense. So you're sw swapping that onto Sylveon, and you're doubling your defense to 500. Turn one, skill swap fur fru, and now you have 500 defense. Your defense has now become massive. So now you have an amazing tank. Well, first turn with your Furfru, you're going to run Cotton Guard. This is going to replace Furfru's Fur Coat because now you have the Cotton Guard, which is going to be on your, which is instantly going to, you know, just get you massive defense. It's going to get you, th what is that, three stages? Pretty sure it's three stages. Yeah, it increases your defense by three stages instantly. And we're running a, a mixed defense here on Furfru with, after he, I'm, once I started thinking about it, since I've set this up, this was just to throw a fur for right out here to let to show you, show you the move set. I'm gonna say that speed is probably more important than special attack, but don't take these stats too strictly. You can play around with fur fruit stats and find how you want to play them. Like I said, this is not the fur fruit video, 
But you're gonna want to run a Cotton Guard on Furfru, and you're gonna want to run Rest on Furfru just in case. And if you you probably want to switch out with a Chesto Berry. Oops, not Charizard, not Charizard. So out with the Chesto Berry. That way you can Chesto Resto back up to max health. Well, uh, just the first for that first time. So that way you can get that little bit of extra uh, time to get even more stats off of that Cotton Guard. And you're gonna want to psych up that Cotton Guard at every chance you get. That way you have a massive defense. You're looking at times 12 defense. This is insanity. So you have times 12 defense. So now you have the perfect physical wall and you have the perfect special wall. Because, I mean, it's not the special defense isn't nearly as powerful as uh, physical defense. But your physical defense is insane absolutely insane you're taking no damage at this point and your special defense is absolutely insane just from it being absolutely insane i do recommend if you if you're running this on the law punny team that you do try and get the cosmic powers to at least times four a minimum you can go for that times six which i i mean you really should try to get times six but law punny might not survive long enough if it doesn't have some sort of sustain like drain punch so i do recommend drain punch but you're going to want to get at least the defense two times six that way you have amazing defenses for sylveon but i do recommend getting that fur coat onto sylveon so it becomes just an ultimate physical wall it is its defenses are through the roof insane and at this point if sylveon starts getting really low on health and you have another pokemon that has like really massive defense you can skill swap that fur coat onto pretty much anything you want which will make other crazy tanks even crazier tanks um like you say yeah like have an iron defense lucario or something just throwing out a random pokemon that you can make fairly defensey and you skill swap the fur coat on it, now it's even more defensive. Like, you know, whatever your wall is that you have for an actual... Like, usually when I'm running this team, Sylveon's the only wall I run. Because of the... Well, I guess Furfru is technically a wall, but he's more so a setup Pokemon for Sylveon. And Sylveon is normally the... just the, Normally just the only wall I run because it can wall out both sides because of this crazy insane back and forth of both special defense and defense it has and it becomes in an absolute insane wall and even if they um they like haze and like get rid of your stats you still have the fur coat that doubles your defense you have 500 defense you have almost 400 special defense you are not going anywhere you are staying where you are that's just how it is and then Furfru, like I said, Furfru is a, a nice setup Pokemon who has really good sustain with that rest. Get those Cotton Guards off. He has amazing defense. And then you can always, and then you can lay out those Toxics. Get some, get a little bit of extra chip damage going on that can eventually lead to major damage. And Hyper Voice, if he survives long enough to get to Time Six defense, get your Sylveon in Time Six defense. You can double Hyper Voice and just take out pretty much everything you need. Overall, Sylveon is a great mixed Pokemon. You can run it with a um, special tanky sweeper. You can run it as a special sweeper where it's not going to end up outspeeding anything, but it is going to dish out crazy damage. You can run it as a special wall. You can run it as a mixed wall. You can run it as the ultimate wall. It's not the best wall, but there are better. Um, I think that my Golbat build would completely decimate Sylveon simply not because it's of the poison moves it gets, but because of the fact that it's the perfect tank buster, but that's a different subject altogether. Tank busting, you know, whatever. But Sylveon, awesome Pokemon, great all around, can do pretty much anything you want. Now, if you want a Sylveon, you can go ahead and leave your friend code and the uh, build that you want down below and I will get back to you as soon as I have one ready which I have some of all of them already prepared so and there will also be one shiny given away that will be given away at complete random I will go into a random generator and generate a random number and then I will select 
one through that number and whenever a that number comes up well what am i even my that did not come out of my mouth the way it was meant to come out and that made no sense whatsoever i know what i'm doing it's going to be it's going to be as close to random as possible to whomever gets it i am going to give away one shiny sylveon at random using a random number generator let's just put it that way my explanation didn't make it a lot of sense you watch my life is strange series i was a lot like chloe when giving out my explanation on how to do things <laughs> so thank you guys for watching i will see you all in the next episode take care have a great day and peace out